What's going on YouTube? It's Arby for Grenade here. And I haven't posted a Call of Duty commentary in a while, so here it is. This is a MOAB Moab on terminal. I'm calling this a P90 Moab because I did not get a majority of the kills with the P90, but I ended up actually getting the Moab with the P90 and I got like five or six kills with it, so I already had two ACR mobs, so I'm calling this a P90 mob, and because if you have any issues with that, I'll change the title, but I really don't think it should be uh, controversial or whatever. But, yeah, so this is a really defensive mob. I'm not calling it camping because, you know, I wasn't staying in one spot. I was patrolling areas of the map, which I would suggest you do if you're going for a mob. Don't just run out in the open. Sort of stay with your teammates, and don't stay in one spot. Like, what I'm doing here is I'm just patrolling these corridors, and uh, I made a smart move there. I saw that guy, but I left because he was... Uh, he was just way too down and I didn't really want to waste bullets on him, so. Anyways, I uh, want to talk about playing with YouTubers, and what I mean, what I mean by this is, uh, famous YouTubers, and it doesn't just have to be related to Call of Duty, it can be related to other kind of YouTubers, like, um, you know, Freddy W, or Raven Johnson, or Smosh, or whatever, but, first what I like to talk about is YouTube commentators. I have not ever gone into a legit match with a big YouTuber. And what I mean by this is that I never just joined a game and got in with a big YouTuber. But that being said, I don't really know too many big YouTubers uh, Xbox gamer tags, so maybe I did run into some, but I did not know it at the time. But anyways, the only somewhat big YouTubers I ever ran into, but this was by accident because I know them and I was playing with them, was Freddy Jr. who has like 7,000 subscribers. Uh, Jaded, I don't even know if I should really include him because he's only gone like a thousand two hundred, but whatever. And Midnight Boss, who's gone around ten thousand, I played with him once. I've never played with X Jaws, but something that was cool was me and my friend uh, wanted to play with Phase, so we got Marker Two and we looked up Phase on private chat, I think, or chat channel, because you can find people's gamer tags. So what we did is we did that, and uh, we joined their session progress. And I was playing with FaZe, Slasher, Ramos, and I think Seabass or something, something like that. I know that they were legit FaZe because there's a lot of fanboys like, screaming and stuff. It was funny. And uh, believe it or not, uh, they hit a trick shot on me. And it's in one of their mini edits. I think it's like Go On Ramos or something. Uh, episode like 30 or something. But I'm in it. And uh, yeah, they did not set up. I know some people I think said they set up, but no, they were all legit. I was actually gaming against them. I killed them once. So I guess that's... Yeah, I killed them. Oh my gosh, I'm so special. But yeah, so that was kind of cool. I'm in one of their videos. But the thing I want to say is it's kind of perspective, you know. I would freak if I was playing in a lobby with X Jaws or something because I, I like them and they're huge and it's kind of it's special playing with them. But some other people would not freak at all because they don't give a shit. I mean, it's all about perspective, you know. One person could freak after seeing White Boy in a lobby. Or and then another person could freak after seeing Freddy W or some other person. You know, it's all about who you watch. And another thing is, you know, if you saw those people in the streets, would you ever go up to them and say hey? Or would you even recognize them? Half the famous YouTubers, you've never seen their face. So you wouldn't even know who they are. They're famous on YouTube, but they don't really mean anything in real life. Which I know is kind of a rude thing to say, but really, I mean, extras, what does he really amount to in society? I mean, Maybe he has a job or something, but all he's done is just done YouTube videos, so he's not like, you know, Obama, where you actually saw him, you'd be like, oh my god, it's the president. This is just a YouTuber, it's like, you're YouTube famous. There's like the expression like, oh my gosh, it's not a special to be YouTube famous, you know? Uh, YouTube celebrity, or whatever, but that's kind of what I wanted to talk about, was, uh, yeah, so that, and how I would not really freak out that much. But it would be kind of cool to play with really big YouTubers. And, uh, yeah. So it is perspective, and that's sort of the idea I'm trying to get at. This is all in perspective. But yeah, it is cool from time to time to be playing with YouTubers, and it is a cool experience, you know, playing with a celebrity, or a YouTube celebrity. So, that is that. So, I'm kind of done with that topic. But yeah, so, Moab is coming soon. As you can see, I'm kind of panicking. I, th I knew I was close. And it's easy the time's 30 seconds, so sort of thinking to myself, oh my gosh, what if I don't get this mob? So I ran out, you know, I didn't really give a shit, I was rushing now, I was like, if I die, who cares, I wasn't going to get the mob anyways. 
So here I'm two off, and there's only 15 seconds left, so I'm just like panicking. I was praying there'd be people over here. So I pick up this sniper. I'm one off. I see there's only eight seconds. I just rush, and I find this sniper right here. I panic. I'm like, oh my god, Moab, and I call it right away. But the game ends, so I nobody blows up from my Moab. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and make sure to tune in and subscribe every week.